So guys, it's Noel Michaels. Thanks for coming to Noel Chat. It's a crazy day. In the last few minutes, things have just gone crazy in my head. And in my internet. Yeah, something's wrong with my computer. It keeps throwing the internet off. I can't get on. I try to go on, it's on for two seconds. If I try to do something else, it shuts off. Off and on, off and on, off and on. We try rebooting the internet machine server thingy. No good. So I have no way to check my comments to see who told me that they subscribed. So there's no super special subscriber for this video. That's crazy. You guys got a comment? And I've got to read the comments and know who subscribed. I put your name up. That's how it goes, right? Well, guys, it gets worse from there. All right. You know this show I've been doing? Friends of by God? <laughs> Remember that? I think I'm up to number episode six. I'm up to nep I'm up to nepitode six. Up to up to episode six. And I'm sitting in front of the TV and I'm taking my notes. I'm doing the notes a little differently. Okay, I did it right on the chart. I went right to the chart. I didn't do like 12 pages of notes and then try to do the chart. Now, I did it right on the chart. I'm trying to be efficient, guys. And guess what happens? I'm looking at the TV. And it's showing the title of the show. <laughs> and the title of the show is not printed by God. <laughs> yeah. I had the wrong title of the show for so many videos. <laughs> And I like the title printed by God. I'm attached to it at this point. At this point, I am attached to this title. And I'm finding out it is not the title of the show. I'm a little shook. Show, the title of the show is... God friended me. Which is better? Friended by God or God friended me? I don't know. I'm partial to mine. <laughs> I am partial to friended by God. I don't know, guys. What should I do? For now, we will continue and go onto the charts. Onto the chart. <laughs> And see what happens in this tonight's episode. Here we go. Okay. The chart is all black and white. <laughs> Usually I use more colors, but I do have some colors available. To make some points. Let's see how this goes. Of course, I have God and our main human character, Miles Finer, his sister, Allie Finer, their father, Reverend Arthur Finer, and I kept thinking it was Reverend Arthur Finer's brother, Terrence, Uncle T. But really, when you look at it, Terrence Russell. Arthur Finer? If they were brothers, more than likely they'd have the same last name. So I paid attention today, guys, and found out that Terrence's wife, Lena, is Arthur Finer's sister, I believe, because he called him his brother in law. Again. Until I find out different, that's what it is. 
Well, last episode, Lena and Terrence celebrated their 25th years of wedding anniversary. They had a party. Towards the end, they were not getting along at the end of the party. And this week, we find out they're getting divorced. And Lena is going upstairs to stay with her sister. Okay. Now, her reason, she says, is that the decisions that Uncle T made jeopardized everything they had built together. Yeah, he jeopardized. That word jeopardy and jeopardize, it comes up a few times. So that's kind of like our theme. What are you going to do to jeopardize the things that, that are important? Yeah, and how do you stop doing that? Well, what he did was he was short on money. He says, I'm broke and in debt. And he's in the middle of a construction project of a huge building, big apartments, trying to get back to the neighborhood, making affordable housing. But he's got no money to pay the workers to build this thing. It's halfway done or more. He's, he's got no credit. He's got nothing to go for. I don't know. It's very sad. Well, that's one storyline. Of course, we've got a few always in this show. And the other one has to do with Kara Bloom, Miles' friend, very good friend. This is the first episode they didn't try to make this more romantic. They're really getting away from that. Kara always lived with her dad. Her mom had problems, I believe, with alcohol. And so she didn't see her mom until she's an adult. And now they have a good relationship. Well, one day they're jogging along, because that's how they get along. They jog. <laughs> jogging along. And out of a car steps Dad. Yeah. Dad raised Kara by himself most of the time, because Mom left. And now Kara and Mom are getting along. And Dad's a little upset about it. He talks about how he felt angry and alone and afraid during those years when the mom was absent. And guy, well, Kara finds out in this episode that mom wanted to come back when Kara was like an adolescent. And Dad wouldn't let her because he was protecting Kara from being hurt again. Kara's upset with that. She feels like they missed out. Her and her mom missed out on years they could have had together. <sighs> Suddenly, the good guy dad's not looking so good guy anymore. Suddenly, the good guy Uncle T. Miles always thought of him as really, really great, close relationship. Yeah, he's not looking so good anymore either. I didn't think about that before, but... Yeah, someone you idolize that all of a sudden doesn't look good anymore? Hmm. That's showing up in this episode as well, guys. You have someone that you idolized, and then at the end you figured, eh, they're only human, right? Okay. Well, Rakesh, Miles, IT guy, friends, he had a little bit of a storyline this episode, not so much last time where he introduces his female her friend, Lucy, and she's using part of the firewall as bait to try to get Falcon, a, uh, who, had been, who had vanished for 10 years. He was a really good hacker. And they think he was writing a new language for the computer that maybe he might be the person writing the God um, account firewall. Yeah. They still keep thinking it's a person, not God, that's doing all this. Well, you know, Miles does get a friend recommendation, but it's the first time that it's someone he already knows. And guess who it is? It's Terrence Russell, his uncle. So that shows him that Terrence Russell's got problems, something's going wrong. 
besides maybe even with his wife maybe it has to do with the smile starts sniffing around looking for clues even asks his friend Rakesh to look into his uncle's finances a little bit so all uncle T wanted to do was make to get a seat at the table to see this building through to its completion. He sacrificed everything. And right there's the problem, guys. <laughs> Don't sacrifice everything. <laughs> it will come to bite you in the rear. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, he jeopardized stuff, and that's why his wife was leaving him. Yeah. He sacrificed everything. He did not focus on what was important and who was important in his life. By the end, he really realized that he already had a lot of good things and he, there was no need for him to sacrifice all that for this dream of making this building. Yeah. After he complained that he was broke, the next day all of a sudden everything was rosy. And Miles was even more suspicious. What's going on here? Yesterday you were you were falling apart. You had, you were broke. You had no money. You had no nobody was gonna lend you money. And today everything's good. Uh huh. No, I don't buy it. He did not buy it. Nope. That's when he was talking to Rakesh. What's going on here? Well, it turns out that Reverend Arthur Finer had finally saved a lot of money the church had raised for a new children's center that was going to be built. And Uncle T went and took the money of the children's center and had it wired to his account. He embezzled, guys. Don't ever embezzle. You will end up in the slammer. Nobody wants to be in the slammer, right? Okay, so... He did that, and Rakesh saw it and told Miles. And Miles went to confront his uncle, and guess who was there? His dad, Reverend Arthur Finer. And he made Uncle Terrence confess what he had done. And oh, Reverend was so upset, and yet he was also feeling terrible that he had to go and tell the board of the church the truth, and that maybe Uncle T would go to jail. Reverend didn't want to get his brother-in-law in trouble. He didn't, but he'd have to, because once before, his Uncle T took a little bit of money and then replaced it, but he never told the board, and he didn't want to have those guilty feelings anymore. So... The only thing that he could come up with as he thought of how to help was to sell his own house. Reverend was ready to sell his own house to put the money back in. Miles didn't want that to happen. That that house has been in the family. He wants to keep it. So the idea that Uncle T came up with was to go to a street lender, if you know what I mean. Yeah, someone that you borrow money from, and if you don't pay it back, bad things could happen. Nobody wants that, right, guys? Nope. Yeah. Miles found out about the street lender from Aunt Lena Russell. Because that's what he did the last time when it was only a little money. But this was just too much. It was $600,000, guys. Six hundred k. He embezzled. Well... That word jeopardize, right? I talked about that. Mom and Dad were going to have lunch with Kara. And the mom says, I don't want to jeopardize my present relationship by lying about the past. And the dad says, she'll never find out. And then he tells her, he tells Kara about how he kept her mom away. Yeah, it was a little kid. One minute he's saying she'll never find out, and the next minute he's telling her about it. Right? What's up with my banks? Anyway, 
Friended me. I still can't get over that. Oh my God. Friended by God is such a better title. I just... Okay. So, anyway. Miles talks to Uncle T and says, Listen, do you remember when my mom died? You made a promise no matter what happens. You would never leave. If you're going to jail, man, you're leaving. Don't leave me. We could figure things out together, you said. You know, family bond was like strongest thing. So, it turns out that Uncle T figured it out. He the partial building back to the bank and gave the money back to the church. And the church board... I'm just happening. The church board, they forgave him. That's important, guys. <sighs> yeah, a lot of people did things to jeopardize. And then, you know, one good thing I really liked was that Reverend Arthur Finer really stuck up for Uncle T because he said, when I was lost and angry, and alone after your mother died, and I didn't even want to preach, was doubting. He said to me, Uncle T said to Reverend Arthur Finer, fake it till you make it. Yeah, that, that one years ago. <laughs> Believe it or not, in Mary Kay training, Mary Kay Cosmetic, fake it till you make it. He kind of acts successful, right guys? Have a good attitude, be confident. Yeah. And he told them, and I'll be here every day listening, every Sunday listening to your to you in the preaching. And of course he was in the front row every week, Uncle T was. But now Uncle T went upstate to be with Aunt Lena. So guess who sat in that chair? Oh yeah. Mr. Miles, sitting in the front row, listening to his dad's sermon. Jeez, his dad would have feeling so great about that, right? It's nice when your children, um, you know, show that they respect what you're doing and they have good feelings about your passion. Even if he doesn't believe in God, Miles, even if he's an atheist, he'll support his dad as he preaches in a church. So, family bond, closer than ever, right guys? Yeah. Some families are not really close together, and others are. <coughs> it's same cough I had last video. Note to self keep. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this update of God Friended Me. Or Friended by God. That's our little secret title, okay? We'll keep it a secret title. <laughs> Friended by God. That's so much better. Anyway, guys, this is Noelle Michaels signing off. Please subscribe. <laughs> Let's all give it yeah, thumbs up this video. And yeah, get, leave me comments so I have some names to put in here. Can't I this video needs a super special subscriber? Yeah. Alright guys. <sighs> Take care and I'll see you soon. There it is. I couldn't find how to turn off the video.